DSCA Tech Tip, we'll be cleaning the Nano DSC. Before cleaning the Nano DSC, you want to make sure first to depressurize the system through the software, and then you can open up the pressure cap. Once the pressure cap is open, you probably have a couple of vinyl caps on one side of each of the sample and reference sides. We need to remove those. And you may have dropped a little bit of solution inside the wells, and so we can dab that dry with a little uh, cotton swab or a little uh, piece of chem wipe or, or paper towel. And now we're ready to clean the cell. So since this, the Nano DSC is a capillary cell, we can connect one side, which is in our solution of water, to the reference side, because we're going to take in solution through the reference, and we're going to jump it over to the sample with a small piece of silicone tubing, I'm going to connect this to the reference side and I'm going to jump it over to the sample side. And now I have one port open on the sample side to go directly to our waste container, uh, which is where our vacuum is drawn from. And then I turn on the vacuum through the degassing station, hit the clean button, and now it's going to circulate our cleaning solution through the Nano DSC. Now we're rinsing the Nano DSC with plenty of water but your sample may require a more harsh cleaning than that. And so it's okay to use a dilute detergent solution or even a four molar solution of sodium hydroxide. But what you want to do is you want to rinse first with water, follow it with sodium hydroxide, rinse with more water, and then maybe follow it up with a very dilute nitric or a formic acid solution, and then followed by plenty of water. You want to make sure your DSC is clean before your next experiment.